Hello, I'm Don Lewis of Witch School International and Magic TV, and I'd like to welcome you to our new reality TV program, Living the Wiccan Life. In this program, we're going to share with you our daily activities here at our headquarters in Rossville, Illinois, and also activities and events that we go to, rituals we go to, and hopefully concerts and special events and interviews with interesting people. We first started to think seriously about the idea of doing a realistic reality show about Wiccans and Pagans back around the time of Mad Mad House. You may remember that program, and we here enjoyed it tremendously. We thought it was great fun and good exposure for, for Wicca, for Paganism, for Voodoo, and for the other communities that were showcased in that program. But it cannot be said that it was realistic. Everything from the circumstances to the various stunts and games that were performed were very artificial. It did give some insight into what uh, Wiccans and Pagans are like as people, but not a great deal because they were very unnatural circumstances. We hope that by letting you see us as people, you will come away with a clearer idea of what we are like and what our community is like. Some time ago, as some of you may know, we were talking to the Sci-Fi Channel about doing just such a reality TV program. However, we were unable to agree as to the format and the content. Therefore, we thought, what better than to make the program ourselves? That way we can control the content and the format and make certain that our community is portrayed in a realistic fashion. And so that's just what we're doing. We're making the show ourselves, and we hope that you will help us with your feedback and participation. We're here in our new headquarters in Rossville, Illinois, where we've just moved from our old headquarters in Hoopston, Illinois. We're still unpacking, and so we hope that you will join us as we begin our new life here in this new town. We had been in Hoopston at a building we called the Gray Elephant for almost exactly four years. Just last week, we began our move to Rossville. It was a big job clearing out the elephant, and difficult because the building holds a lot of memories for us. When we first came to Hoopston, we actually lived there. We began with a ritual whose purpose was cleansing and blessing the building and making a break with the past to begin a bright new future. And so we moved to our new home in Rossville and our new building. The new sign is yet to come. 
first thing we had to do was catch up on our shipping. Here we see Marianne and Virginia beginning the work of sorting out the shipping orders and getting them filled. I'm taking care of the shipping that we have been behind for a couple of weeks and we're trying to get it all out now. We don't want our customers mad at me. <laughs> they see your face now, they know your face. They know who I am. So they can get you. <laughs> Candle snuffer. and we're here at the Lorraine Theater in Hoopstead where we are preparing to see the premiere of the new Harry Potter movie, complete with costume contests. Excited about the movie? Yeah. Oh, good. You haven't seen it yet, have you? No, you're not, you're not you haven't seen it yet, huh? No, not yet. I messed it up. Yeah, it must be pretty agonizing not having to sell the tickets and listen to it and sell popcorn and not hear it. Oh, it's, yeah, I'd sit there and hear it and then peek and hear it. Talk to you soon. And here are many of our Witch School staff standing in line waiting for the movie. Uh -huh. And this is up, and there's Ray. <laughs> Hi, Raven. <laughs> this is Raven's new look. We haven't seen him again. We say no, he's uh, this is just cleaned up. Good job. There you go. And why you ask if we all come out to see Harry Potter? Because Harry Potter has been very, very good for us. Hi, Mike. Hey, Don. So I, I understand you have Virginia's computer working. Yeah, fine. It took like four and a half hours last night. And could you explain to us what was wrong with the computer? Uh, our guy more or less fried. Along with like her motherboard showing out and the power unit going out, it's just like in colossally it exploded. And you were able to save the data nonetheless? Yeah. Very cool. So what did you think of Harry Potter? I like the special effects and I mean they they definitely left out a lot of the storyline in the book, so it seemed to be kind of skippy, but since if you've read the book it, it makes sense. And the special effects were nice, like the fight scenes when people were all like misty and like flying around and stuff. Thank you, Mike. Hi, Ashley. Hi. What are you doing? I'm actually finishing the books for the trip tomorrow. Okay. Would you care to show us the book table? And... Mm-hmm. This is all the books that I've been making, and all these, and all these. This is the definite work area for the books. You can see lots of paper. Could you show us what the two machines are for? Mm -hmm. This one right here, you cut. You, this is the way you cut it. And over here, you just bring it right over here. Get it ready. Make it just like this. And that's how the book is produced, all except for the copying machine. That's very cool. Mm -hmm. What did you think of Harry Potter? I liked the movie. I didn't like it as much as I liked the one last year, but I still nonetheless liked it. It was very action-y, loud, it's good. And I would recommend people seeing it at the movie theater. I think a movie like that's the best seen at the theater. And it's well worth the time. Thank you, Ashley. You're welcome. Hi, cousin. Hi, dear. What did you think of Harry Potter? I really liked the special effects and the action scenes. I thought that was great. I was a little disappointed in it because some things didn't seem to be explained enough. If I read the book, I would probably understand more, but I think the kids will just love it. And what was your favorite part? When uh, the centaurs drug off that evil headmistress, whose name I don't recall at the moment. I thought that was most fitting. Thank you. Over. Hi, Rihanna. Hi, Don. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. What did you think of Harry Potter? Oh, I absolutely loved it. Oh, I loved it. What was your favorite part? My favorite part would have to be anything Hermione is doing. I love Hermione. And Harry Potter himself is starting to look quite sexy. Uh, <laughs> but I love the movie all the way around. I love anything magical. 
And what are you doing here today? I am making mini spells. I'm doing ancestors. And I see you're bagging them at the moment. Yes, I'm putting the header on. Like so. Thank you, Rihanna. You're welcome. Personally, I really enjoyed Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I think it may be my favorite Harry Potter film so far. I've always been bothered by the difference between the first two Harry Potter films and the second two Harry Potter films in terms of look and substance. And I feel that this film, in many ways, reconciles those differences and brings together the different points of view. I felt that this film recaptures a lot of the sense of wonder that is present in the first two films while keeping the grittiness that's present in the second two films. I feel that this story really addressed many of the deeper issues in the series very nicely. And for the first time, I was really impressed with Sir Michael Gambon as Dumbledore. In the previous films, I've really felt that he came off more as a crotchety old man than as a powerful wizard. But in this film, he has very much that aura of power and dignity that the part demands. So I enjoyed it, and I recommend it. Well, that's our first episode, and I hope that you'll join us for our second. Tomorrow, I'm leaving for the St. Louis Pagan Picnic, which I go to every year, and I hope to bring back some interesting interviews, which you will see through this program on Magic TV. And I hope that you, you will stay with us and that you will give us your feedback and that you'll bear with us as we improve. Thank you very much and blessed be.